about something like this. Two equal length springs are nested together in order to form a shock absorber. If it is designed to arrest the motion of a two kilogram mass that is dropped 0.5 above the top of the spring from an at rest position and the maximum compression. Point two, determine the required stiffness of the inner spring if the outer spring is stiffness of blah, 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 blah. Is this an energy problem? Yeah, because it's got springs in it. No, that's not the reason. Okay, is it a time span? Yes. Yes, okay. Uh, do you care how long it takes to do this? No. no. Uh, can you find the energies in and out of all of the things that are acting on it? Well, let's make a list. Uh, let's see, you've got gravity. You've got potential. Not, not worried about gravity. Then. You've got springs. Are you worried about springs? No, you've got potential for that. No, no. How about uh, the normal force between, eventually the, the orange guy's gonna fall down on the spring. He's gonna have a normal force. Are you worried about that? No, because the, on the box, it's pushing up and it's going, that's negative work, right? Trying to slow the box down. And then on the springs, it's backwards, right? The, the box is pushing the same amount on the springs as positive work, right? Okay. So I'm not worried about the normal force. What about the collision? Well, thank goodness in this class, all of the springs are masses. Go down to you know uh, Home Depot and try to find a massive spring. But, that, but that's hey, it's an undergraduate, it's a sophomore class. Springs are massive. Suppose you were doing this uh, for real and you, you, your job's on the line. Well, I would probably say, well, you know, what kind of spring is that? I go look at it. Oh, man, that's about a two-ounce spring. Okay, this guy's two kilograms. I'm going to ignore it. Okay, but if there's a life on the line, then I would probably do something else. Okay, so it depends on how critical it is. All right, in this class, springs are massless. So you don't have a mass hitting another mass, so there's not going to be any loss here. Okay, that's why I'm doing it, to, to point it out to you. Right? That's why he told you to ignore the mass of the plate before, and now he doesn't say that because in the book he's saying all the springs are masses. Okay? That's why it's an energy. Okay, shall we do it? Okay. You got any energy going in or out? No? Nope? Okay, so zero equals. It's not always zero, be careful, right? Because I have done some problems where it wasn't zero. Zero equals. Okay, final. Okay, what, what is happening at the final? Well, the thing has hit the springs and it's gone all the way down and stopped. Right? Do you have any kinetic energy? Why not? Because he stopped. Right? So at the end, he has stopped. No kinetic. What about gravity? Depends on where you choose zero, right? Where would you like to choose zero? Okay, I'll do that. Is that okay with everybody? I was gonna, I was gonna pick it right here. But whatever. We'll put it where it stops. Okay. That was his idea. <laughs> okay. Do you have any gravity energy at the end? No, because he's where he stops. What energy do you have? From, from springs. Potential in the springs, right? How many springs you got? Two? Okay, so I'm going to add both energies in. So I have plus one half Ka, watch the units. How much is A squished? Let's see, when they stop, it went down Let's see, design to arrest motion at S of 0.5, blah, 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 rest position. Okay, the springs are supposed to go down 0.2. Right now they're free, correct? Nothing's touching them. So 0.2, how much is the spring A uh, squished? Is it less than 0.2? Did I say three? Yeah. 
I don't know what I said. I have to re rewind it. I I don't know three. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> I see I see one half k a times squish squared. What's the squish? Zero point two. I would say it's zero point two. Oh oh, I said three, not three. Oh. <laughs> it's three where it is right here. <laughs> <laughs> How's that for recovery? Okay, that's the that's the three. That's where they are when they're free. So if they go down point two, what did they squish? They squish point two. Okay. So it's point two. Watch the unit so. I think we're okay on that. So point two squared. Plus I have some energy in this in the second spring, KB point two squared. That's the final energy. Minus the initial energy. Okay, let's see. What's the initial energy? Is the, is the mass moving? Yes. Initially? No. No? Okay, no, no kinetic. Does he have any gravity? Yes. How much? MGH, give me the H. Um, yeah, you do. S is 0.5 plus 0.2. Plus 0.2. Why? Because that guy right there said he measured, right? Gravity, he wanted at the final, right? So how high are you above it? 7.7, 7. 0. 0.5 plus 0. 0.2. Does everybody see that? So it's 0. 0.7. Watch the units. You have any spring energy? Initially, yeah, we'll do an initial. No? Okay, well then that's it. How many unknowns? One, KB. How many equations? One. Piece of cake. Where are you going to screw up? 